guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to today's video which is very exciting i am 12 weeks pregnant and i really wanted to do the sneak peek gender dna test so i ordered one and i'm gonna send it off i'm gonna do it with you guys today and then send it off and then um, i should get the results it said <laughs> results within a few days so I'm hoping that I get the results quick. I'm super curious about it because um, there's just so many people that have done it. And there's also a lot of like mixed reviews on it. A lot of people got the wrong gender. But I really wanted to just do it just for fun. It's not 100% but I wanted to see if it was accurate. Um, if it does work. I actually went and got one of these done um, at a clinic. So I already did it. But they drew my blood it was like an actual nurse who drew my blood and it was the clinical version of a sneak peek but i wanted to see if they would give me different results because reading the reviews online it was like if it gets contaminated by male dna which i had my son with me when i went to get my blood drawn he was in the room with me and i'm not sure how it works and um we actually already know the gender, but I don't know how accurate how accurate it is. So I really have to wait for the ultrasound to actually see and um, see if it was accurate or not. But I wanted to do this one at home. I already did the clinical one. It gave me one gender. I'm not going to tell you guys right now. I'm going to do it when I do my reveal. But I'm going to do two different ones. So the gender or the clinical and the at-home one so this is my second one this is the at-home one i'm gonna send it off today and see and compare if the results are the same and then also get it confirmed by an ultrasound later on and give you guys all the updates and all the results so i'm gonna clean everything off disinfect everything i have these lysol wipes and um make sure it's contaminated and let's get started all right i should probably take my rings off just so i don't have any other DNA so this is the package right here um, I think I'm gonna clean the sink and everything first and then I'll open it and then um, kind of get started make sure I don't have any of my husband's DNA up here rocking I don't know how I feel about sticking a needle in my finger I'm okay other people drawing my blood but I don't know how I feel about me drawing my blood okay I also put a new shirt on my husband hasn't like hugged me in the shirt today I'm gonna try not to touch anything on my body my hair or anything oh so here it is the, it came with a label to ship it back so I'm just gonna put that to the side. It says females only, sample collection and components have been sterilized, avoid male contact with contents within this kit. It looks like this. <sighs> this is nerve wracking. Okay, how do I open this? I need scissors. Okay, I'm opening it up, you guys. I'm so nervous. Okay. Prior to taking your sample, activate your kit using the unique bar code below okay so do that first i feel like i'm touching my phone now and it's getting it's going to be all messed up but okay so it says go to sneakpeaktest.com slash activate I had to retype it because I put sneak peek with an E or with an A instead of two E's. 
Okay, so it gives you this, it says kid activation. First, I checked that you're at least eight weeks into your pregnancy. Yes, I am. I'm going to tell you like baby's estimate due date. It wants to make sure that you're at least eight weeks. So it's more accurate, obviously, I guess. So I'm due in August. Are you activating your kid prior to collecting your sample? Yes. And then you put the barcode in. Let me make sure I get this right. Okay. This is probably the easiest part and then you have to like drop blood and all that and it's like So just asking like my birthday and all that. My birthday's tomorrow, January 21st. The big 28. Um, and then it also gives you like the option to send it to another email. So if you want, if you don't want to find out and you want someone else to find out, you can send um, for you. How do you find my order? Okay, order number. I guess. How do I find? So it says you can have an order number. I don't know where my order number is. I really want to put my order number. Okay, I'm gonna try to find my order number because it says it gives you tracking. So sneak peek. Um, it gives you tracking information if you put your order number in. What the heck, where's my order number? Found it. Okay. Submit. I feel like this is taking a very long time. Thanks for activating your kit. All done. Great. Oh. I'm just gonna wipe my hands with the Lysol wipe, just in case. Okay. Now, okay, mom, I sneak peek. Oh, this is cute. So you can post it like on Instagram and tag them. Instructions, females only. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. It says, please perform steps one to three before removing any items in this box. Okay. So, step one or step one. Step one is activate your kit. I've done that. Step two. I already drank a bunch of water, so it says drink a full eight ounce glass of water 20 minutes before starting. I drank water already. Um, avoid male contact. Locate the flat counter or table surface to collect your sample. Thoroughly clean surface with household cleaner or warm soapy water. Did that. Three, sanitize your hands. Contamination can happen. Blah, blah, blah. So get rid of the stuff. Select a bowl that is large enough. Sanitize it with, your, with soap and clean underneath. Okay, so they give you this little brush and I have to wash my hands with soap and then air dry them. So I'm going to do that. I just scrub under my nails. 
I'm like actually like so nervous for this. I feel like I'm like doing some kind of a procedure. <laughs> ah. okay. It says to, to air dry your hands, so. Air dry your hands and then you step for a setup collection tube and let's make sure you find everything when you need. They're not drying. <laughs> Isn't there like male DNA in the air if you're doing it in the house, the same house that I live in with my husband? I don't know. Maybe there is. Anyway. Now I have to set up all this stuff. So there's this little biohazard thing. Um, I don't know what that is. This little blue thing. Three lancets, three alcohol swabs. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so nervous. Three of these things. The things that you prick your fingers with, I guess. Um, Okay, so remove any place of following items on your clean surface collection tube. Where's the collection tube? Okay, I guess it's that. Securely insert collection tube into a hole into a sneak peek box to prevent tipping. Next, open the lid of collection tube. So now I do collection tube. And I put it in here. Can you guys see this? I'm to show you, make sure you see this. So I'm putting a little tube in there. Um, and then it says, get the blood flowing. The steps in section, increase your collection in your hand. Wrong, right? Um, stand during blood sample collection. Make fists and open and close tightly for 10 minutes. Um, Put the tourniquet on your wrist. So I can put this on my wrist. Um, and it says I gotta open the lid on the tube too. Oh my gosh, this is so nerve wracking, you guys. Ah! Okay, so I put this on my wrist. I hope you can see all this. If you guys don't like blood, I suggest that you probably shouldn't watch the rest of this. I am like nervous for this because I don't like blood. I don't know who does. Okay, prepare finger. Get ready, it's go time. Rotate lancet cap in either direction to pull off. Okay, I don't know. Move this. Okay, so I'm gonna take all this stuff out. There's all alcohol wipes and bandages. And it says, rotate lens to keep an instruction, pull off. Use the cap portion of your, use the top outside portion of your fingertip. Hold lens with your fingers on the grooves and place it on the side of your finger with the nearest side facing you. Select either the middle or ring finger to draw blood. Clean fingertip with alcohol, wipe and let alcohol dry. And then you collect the blood. Oh gosh. Press lance it firmly. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so nerve wracking. So I'm gonna do the alcohol wipe. I hope my camera doesn't die in the most important part. So I'm gonna choose my finger. I think I'm gonna do my middle finger. So it's clean with alcohol and let it dry. And then I'm gonna do this. Oh, this looks kind of scary. Press lines of firmly against your finger and apply the board. What? Okay. Apply a large amount of pressure until you hear it click. Blood will flow immediately. Oh, okay, this, I'm scared. Ah! This is so nerve wracking. Okay. And then you just fill it to the line. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, here it goes. If you guys don't like blood, I'd suggest you turn this off ASAP. I'm not trying to just show it. Okay, I see blood. And then, show you. Okay. I feel like the blood is not even coming out. I feel like it's going to be a mess. I don't know why people say they don't get any blood. I feel like I drink so much water that I have a lot of blood. It's already like flowing really good. I don't know if you guys can see that part, but I feel like my blood flows pretty good. Maybe. didn't hurt or anything I've heard some horror stories about this being scary and pa painful it really isn't at all okay I'm almost there this is quite easy I have good blood flow I guess <laughs> okay I'm like almost already to the top I'm done and then it says to do what just close it um. close the tube I'm going to put the bandage on my finger. I don't think I got it under my nail. I didn't even think about that, but my nails are really short, so. Um, ow. Okay. Close this up with the bandage. Okay. That wasn't bad at all, you guys. Now it says, so look at, I got actually a little bit past the line and that was like, it didn't even take me long at all. It was nothing. <sighs> okay. Now it says to take this, you snap it to seal, stir it, invert the tube, making blood flow freely towards. So you just do it, repeat 10 times. I should probably take this thing off. I'm still kind of, my hand is turning blue. Okay, 10 times. Okay, gotta do this a bunch of times. You guys, seriously, this wasn't bad at all. I was expecting this to be like a nightmare. I feel like a lot of people probably over-exaggerate or they're very scared of blood or maybe they don't drink enough water or don't have enough blood flow. Clearly, this wasn't a problem for me. I think it was perfectly fine. It wasn't like I was bleeding all over the place. Like a lot of the videos like freaked me out online. Um, but this honestly wasn't as scary as I think I would prefer to do this versus get my blood drawn somewhere else. This was very easy. I mean, I only pricked it one time, got enough blood flow, followed all the directions. I think it's just a matter of make sure you drink enough water. I drink a, a gallon of water a day, so I feel like that really helps with blood flow. So I think this is enough. I'm gonna put it back in here. Okay, firmly. Firmly tap the tube on the tabletop to the lid side facing down to break up any blood clots. Okay. I think I had any blood clots, so there's, looks like a blood clot. Hmm. 
Okay. Seven now in step eight. All right. Nine. Seven in step ten. Package sample for shipment. I think I was supposed to put this little thing in there, but whatever. Place the tube into the receiver with gauze and seal. Do not remove gauze. Oh, it says do, do not remove gauze, and I removed gauze because it has blood on it. So, do what do I do? Um, do I put it back in there with the blood on it? I don't know. Guess I'm going to because I don't know what else to do. It says not to remove the gauze, but honestly, I already got blood on it. So what I'm gonna do is just put it back in there and hoping it doesn't mess anything <laughs> up. I probably should have read that ahead. Let's make sure you send my sneak peek. We're going to take a picture of your chocolate so you can track your items. Do not remove gauze. Place the bag with the gauze and sample into your original sneak peek box. Put it back in here. You take the thing. You're going to take this off. And then we're going to seal it back. Okay. Ah, that was pretty easy. They give you like three of these finger poking things. I only used one. Pretty easy. I don't think I'll have to use it again for anything, but I'll just throw them away so my toddler doesn't find them. And then I'm going to do this, do the, put the label on there because it already comes with the label for you. It makes it very easy. And take a picture of the label just so I can track it if I want to. And then Return sample and receive results. January learning baby January community. And then Okay, so it says they recommend to bring it to a local post office. I might actually go do that because it gets cold here and the mail already came here, so they're not gonna take it. I'll probably go to like a UPS or post box and just go drop it off. But I'm done and I can't wait to see the results. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek gender DNA test. Um, taking it with me, I try to just go through with it if you guys are interested in trying it. And like I said, this was just me showing you me taking it and kind of seeing the comparison between the clinical one. If you guys do want to kind of know what the difference is or if like they're both right and accurate and how just like the process was taking it at home. I just wanted to do it myself just to kind of compare. So I'm excited to see what this says. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I'll have my ultrasound, like gender ultrasound in about a week or so. So I'll definitely try to, I'll do probably the gender announcement first and then I'll go ahead and let you guys know after what I find out with the sneak peek just because I want to make sure the ultrasound is correct so i'll probably do that you know after i have my official ultrasound and i can confirm or deny whether the sneak peek test was right so yeah i hope you guys subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on my videos and so you can see the results whether it was accurate or not so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below if you have tried sneak peek and if it was accurate for you i would love to know and yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.